sorry, man. No problem. You won that fight easy. Writer, hey, I'm a writer. You won that fight easy. Yes. Easy. What did you say? What did you have winning the fight? I'm a promoter. I'm not a judge. Uh, but, uh, you know, everybody around me uh, scored. was, you know, all the fans around me who were neutral uh, thought it was uh, a pretty one-sided fight uh, for Lomachenko. So everybody was stunned when the judges' scorecards were read. But I'm not going to comment myself because I'm the promoter and that would be wrong. So you see... Behind the scenes, he could tell Loma Camp, you won that easy. But when it's time for the masses to find out his opinion who won, well, I can't do that. I guess he didn't know the mic was technology enough for everybody, all the fans that can hear, saying that he won that, that fight easy. Right? That's what he told Loma Camp. He told Loma in his face and he told his, his camp, y'all won that easy. But then when it comes to the masses... You can't tell the masses the truth about the opinion of who you have winning. All right. I'm getting straight to this shit, right? Um, I'll let you know how I feel about the fight between Loma and Devin a, a little bit later in the video. But um, everybody say, well, you know what? This is about Shakur, right? So this is about the politics that's going on and why I feel that Shakur is not going to get this fight. And I've been said this already. All right. So let's go on about what Devin Bill Haney was talking about the situation with Shakur and who's the boss. One more for me. Uh, Shakur Stevens is the one person who continues to say your name. He got in the ring and you guys exchanged some words. What was said there and do you see you and him cross the path at some point? Yeah, um, I just said that I'm number, I'm, I'm number one. I just let him know that, that, that I'm number one and that's what he said for now. But, um... Right now, I am, I'm number one, so uh, I didn't know. Bob hasn't said his name. I didn't say that. Yeah, Bob hasn't said his name at all. Uh, but, um. <laughs> Bob hasn't said, said his name. My phone, phone ain't ringing. ringing. But, uh, no, nah, uh, what's the name? Of course, I've, I've been very vocal about that me and Shakur are on a collision course. Rather it's at 135, rather it's at 140, rather it's at 147. We're definitely on a collision course, and uh, we're definitely going to get it on when the time is right. When it, the time is right. Now, see me, I always said I want to see these two brothers fight at 135, 140, and 147. Let let it, let this this thing go on in different divisions, right? But um, you heard what Bill Haney said. He said, um, I don't hear anything from Bob Arum. Now, Shakur got in the ring, right? And Devin said, I'm number one, and he dipped out real quick. Right, but it's not what the fighters say. Is that what you're saying? It's not what the fighters say. It's about what the promoters say. Now I'm trying to understand this, Errol Spence fans. What's going on? Because um, one minute it's, it's it's what the fighter want, and one minute it's not what the promoter want. It's what the fighter want, and then when it's, and then in this situation, it's what the promoter wants. It's not what the fighter wants. You see what I'm saying? So if anybody's taking Devin's side on the promoter. Not saying Shakur is going to be next for him. Well, well, we all know Al Heyman doesn't speak. But we do know Al Heyman wants Keith Thurman for Errol Spence, right? So I want to see how you're going to rearrange this situation where the promoter's right for Devin, right? And, 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 and Shakur says his piece that he wants to be next. And I'm going to let you know right now. Even though, Shakur, you're probably in the rankings, number one, and one of the sanctioned bodies, you know, when it comes to politics, you lost the battle, man. You lost the battle, brother. And the reason why I say that is because you took yourself out of the equation where you didn't need Bob to, for Bill Haney to say, um, Bob didn't say anything. Bob ain't say Shakur. My phone didn't ring. And I've been saying this. I say, yo, you know, 130 to 135, you couldn't make the way you said, man, I was struggling, I couldn't, but, yo, big brother Crawford, I'm pretty sure he's kind of disappointed that, because that is your chip, that belt was for you to go down or go up to fight the WBO champion, and you took yourself out the equation once you lost that chip, man, yeah, 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 so it doesn't matter now what, what Bill Haney is saying, it doesn't matter what you're saying in the ring, doesn't matter what the fans are saying 
It matters what Bob is saying. And this is what's getting to me. It's like, you know, let's say Lomachenko was five years younger, right? You know, the time, I guess, or, or the time when Bob Aaron said he's the next Mama Ali and so-and-so. So, you know, let me explain something. In my last videos, I thought that if Devin was Devin was winning and it went 12 rounds, I did say this, that they're going to cheat Devin and give it to Lomachenko, right? That it could, and, and I said that if it goes 12 rounds and Devin having successfully um, put the nail in the coffin with Loma, I wouldn't lie. I, I won't be mad at the judges if they cheated Devin because you're younger, you're longer, and you're stronger and you have skills. But now it's the reverse now. Now that I was wrong, right? And I see that this fight, like I said, I don't want to go into the fight till later on, but I said this fight, I look at the fight three times um, from Devin's body blows to his jabs to Lomachenko combinations and his, his left straight down the pipe. Um, it was a draw. I felt like it was draw. I could go any way. Um, sometimes I look at it as a Devin win. Sometimes I look at it as a Loma win. It's a draw, but there's no run back on this fight. Um, but, you know, it's youth, um, bigger and stronger and longer with skills. But you got a man that's um, in his prime, 35, eight, you know, like I said, it depends on what cut you caught, uh, what, what court you cut from. And obviously Loma's cut from a good court. Because at that age, he still got it going on, right? So it was a man with experience and skills, right? So you got a man with experience and skills and a young man that's younger, longer, stronger with skills. And they clashed. So this is the way I see it. One with the body blows and the jazz, one with the combinations and the angles and straight down the pipe with the left. That's how I see it, right? So it could go either way. Um, but... The way I see it, bro, this is your time. 12 rounds, this shit went 12 rounds. <sighs> All right, well, hey, Lomo, he's experienced. It is what it is. Um, I like both fighters, ain't gonna lie. Um, but that shit, you ain't pulling that shit off with, with Shakur. You're not pulling that shit off with Shakur at all. Um, when it comes to Tank, Tank don't throw a lot of punches, but... The way I see it, the way Loma was getting in, um, the way Loma was getting in with those straight punches, it don't it don't need to be a lot of combinations with uh, with Tank, all right. So, um, yeah, I can see something going on with Tank and you, but with Shakur, kill that noise, man, kill that noise. You could kill that noise. But let's get back to the politics. Let's get back to the politics at hand. Fucking. Speak. And what I'm trying to say is this. Um, they finish with all that damn. Um, what I'm trying to say is this. You took away your chip, Shakur. Now, like I said, I don't know if this shit was orchestrated. Um, I don't know, you know, if y'all just trying to both make it last longer, right, and prolong this. But we didn't have to worry about what Bob say. We don't have to worry about Bill Hayden saying, ask Bob. I'm Bob ain't saying Shakur. Because the way I see it, like, um, people say that, Lomachenko got robbed. Now, I don't know if it's because Lomachenko in the past said that the judges get paid off. I think after that fight with Team of Fimo, um, and shit like that, and they got a grudge on Loma. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, right? Um, I really don't know. Um, but I felt, how can I explain this? I'm not going to tell you that he got robbed or not. Like I said, it goes back and forth. I watched the fight, but damn, what I was going to say. Hold on, let me pause and get my shit together. Okay, 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 I got it, I got it, I got it. So, when I was telling about the 12 rounds, and now people think that Loma got cheated, um, and I hear a lot of people saying that he got cheated, and sometimes I look at the fight, and I'm like, damn, it depends on the person, what they're looking for. Body blows, or head, head snapping back, or combinations and angles, and, and you know, because for some reason, his range, like Devin couldn't put the range on this guy, on Lomachenko, couldn't put the range on him. Um, you know, I, at some points, I just I was just so 50-50 on the fight, man. At, at some points, I, I wanted Devin to win because I wanted to see the fight with Shakur uh, and Tank, right? I always wanted to see that, right? But, see, Bob, I think he learned a lot. Um, see, Lomachenko, like I said, if he was like four or five years younger, I feel that that fight, 
he could have got the the win. But now that he's on his tail end, I think that Bob Arum, because you know some people say allegedly um, promoters and judges, and that oh my god, that 116, 112, right? Um, promote they work hand in hand sometimes, allegedly, right? But I'm seeing at the tail end. So now if I hear Devin Haney and Bill Haney's like, you know what? You know, we'll, we'll sign back. We'll, we could sign back with you, um, but we we don't want Shakur right now. What else do you have on the table? Well, here we go, Devin. This is what we have. I think I got a fight for you at 140 with a uh, team of female Lopez. Yeah, you know that's the same fight that Mayweather's talking about for uh, for Tank Davis, team of female at 140, right? So now, if you listen to this, you can hear that he's telling on himself, Devin Haney. Listen to what he says, Devin. Congratulations. I have a question. Given everything, Given everything you go through to make 135, would you have admitted, short of a fight against one of those names you mentioned, or Tank Davis or Shakur, if those fights are not possible, would you be more inclined just to move up to 140? Yeah, um, you know, if, if I can't get those fights next in the world, does it make sense for it to, to be next? I'll probably go to 140, test, test it out, see how I feel with the weight um, at 140, and then if when the time, time is right, right, then, you know, I'll defend, defend my belt at 135. We'll just see, see I gotta go back and, and, and talk with the team and uh, see, see what makes, makes, makes the most sense. sense. That's, that's, that's really all it boils down to. Um, I'm, I'm very disciplined in the sport of boxing, boxing um, in, 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 in life in general. general. So, so um, that's, that's how I've been able to make 135 for so long. But eventually, you know, I'm gonna outgrow the weight and it's getting to that point. But if it makes sense, it makes sense. So if it makes sense, it makes sense. Yeah, if it makes sense, it makes sense. So he kind of told on himself. And um, who got the fighters at 140 where, you know, he could test himself and still have his titles at 135? Well, we all know that, like I said, everybody wants Team of Fimo, we, you know, at 140. Um, that's a good That's a good test at 140. Um but let me, you know, Devin Haney, if, if, if no one respects your power, you're going to have a hard time, regardless at 140 or, or, or 135, man. And, you know, when I look at that fight with Loma, it was a lot of backpedaling from you. The little man was aggressive and he was pushing you back a lot. You hold your ground and you pushed him back also. But I also saw a lot of you going back with the little man. So, um, yeah, I, I, I just... Now, and, and like I said, I think he told on himself, and I'm trying to tell these people out here, you got to listen to what the boxer says, not what your emotional retardation and your feelings about, oh, Shakur or, or um, Devin Haney ain't going to do this and Devin Haney ain't going to do that. Because like I said, besides Shakur and Tank Davis, he still has another option. And I'm looking on the rankings and I see on the, on the rankings, lightweight 135 WBC, um, I'm looking down from one to 15 and I see right here Maxi Hughes at number 11 I'm keeping my eye on Maxi Hughes I'm keeping my eye on Maxi Hughes at number 11 right there number 11 right so so Shakur and Tank at 135 is not the only option there's also Maxi Hughes at number 11 right and um, I'm watching to see how if that goes up in the rankings, right? Then I'll start to say, okay, something's up, right? Because I we I did videos showing you about Max Hughes and what Devin Haney said, not what I said, what Devin Haney said. So they saying if we can't get the Shakur and Tank fight, why can't you get the Shakur and Tank fight, right? And the other thing that's bothering me, if you do sign back, right? Because it's one fight deal with Loma. And this is why I tell Shakur, man, you messed up, man. You know, I mean, if it's, if it was any time to lose your your belt on the weight scale, on the scale, that was not the time, man. I would have been, I would have, I would have done whatever I had to do to keep that belt to go up to fight um, Devin Haney, and don't worry about Bob Arum, and but put your petition in, and then if you hear Bob Arum. Giving you a hard time that we know because I always prove to you in my videos that Shakur wanted to be undisputed at 130. But what did this man do, Bob Aram? He said, We don't know that IBF and so and so jabronis, one was from England, another one was, yeah, we don't know those jabronis at 130. 
And if it doesn't make money, it doesn't make sense. But, okay, the money and the fighter wanted to be undisputed. Which one is more important? Which one is more important? Well, it's, of course, your corner wanted to be undisputed at 130 in that division. But it didn't make sense to Bob Arum, right? And that's why I said I always wanted Shakur to be the one to fight Devin at 135, right? Um, it is what it is. And I explained to you what this was that and this was that. But still, Shakur, you're still number one in the rankings to fight um, Devin in one of the sanctioned bodies. So you're still there. But we're all hearing that it's all about what Bob is saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what Bill's saying. So where was that? Where was that? Because I got so much to say, man. So much to say. And I don't want to repeat myself, but I will. I know I will. Because I'm off my meds. Right? So, um, at this point, it's all about what Devin wants. And Devin is in control. And you have no say, Shakur. No, you, you would have had say when you had that bargaining chip. But you don't. And and, and, and I'm looking at the, the tweet. I'm looking at the tweet. I'm looking at the tweet you just said. Let's look at the tweet real quick. In case you didn't see the tweet right, the tweet is like, well, you know, I want that fight. If, 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 see the, the keyword was if in that tweet. If Devin doesn't stay at 135, I would like that fight with Loma. Okay, fine. You want that fight with Loma. But Loma, you know what I'm seeing right now? Loma's very disgusted and frustrated. And he don't need to see nobody else in his face. He, listen, y'all too smart. Y'all, you know what's going on with Loma, right? And you're very anxious to fight Loma. So you could show that I got this guy out at a certain time where Devin didn't. And now the audience could say, yeah, Shakur, you could beat so-and-so. Shakur, you could beat Devin because you beat Lomas. But then you got the fans that will say, well, listen, uh, Loma just finished fighting Devin. You fighting his leftovers. You know what I'm saying? Just like they're going to say, oh, uh, uh, Devin dropped the belts. Um, you, fight, you fight his leftovers to be undisputed at 135. Listen, I told you, I wanted y'all to fight at 135, 140, 147. But it seems like since you ain't got no bargaining chip, right? And you just got bark. And brother, I am with you. I know you will beat Devin ass greatly. You will bust him down. All right? But but I'm not just going to be on your ass on, and be like uh, tugging on your, on your willy and, and swinging off your nuts. No, I'm not going to do that. Because I'm going to tell you how I feel. It's my opinion. You messed up. You messed up. And I know it's hard to struggle. But Devin's struggling. Okay? Devin is struggling. And he's saying he still would stay at 135 for the rest of the year. So you just moved up to 135. And you're going to tell me from 130 to 135, you're going to struggle a little bit harder to keep that damn WB. That's why sometimes I think this shit is orchestrated. This shit is orchestrated, man. And I see as this Arrow and this Spence fight, I mean Arrow and Crawford fight, I see this is the next nigga fight. Because this is all that's going nigga, dumb shit, dumb shit between Devin and Shakur. This is dumb. And y'all better hurry up and get this shit up because you got Abdul, you got Abdul, you got young up and coming boxes I'm watching that's right up under your asses. They, they right there too. Uh huh. So y'all, y'all both got some some up and coming threats coming up, man. And I'm watching them dudes, man. So, yo, all I'm saying, man, you got no say at nothing. Yeah, it's okay. Let's let, let's yeah, yeah. what you say, Shakur. Oh, let me listen to you again in the ring. But then me and I feel like he's not on my level. Bill um, called me out after my last fight, so now I'm here and they ran out the ring. So you have a chance to look right in the camera because I'm sure they'll see this after. What do you want to say? to Devin Haney and Bill Haney. They just seen me just now. They said something and ran out the ring. They got a little scared. But you have a chance to say it. <laughs> I can't wait. Now, now, Shakur, that sounds all dandy. But young Skillet, man, let me tell you something, man. You ain't got no control, man. Devin just had a fight, a great fight with Lomachenko, man. Right? And right now, it's like he's in control. And you got no control. And like I said, if Bob Arum, oh, this is where I was at. If 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 Devin signs back, that was a one fight deal. If he signs back with Bob Arum, do that make him top ranked Toby? Like how Crawford was? 
I'm sure y'all get around this and y'all won't call Devin top ranked Toby, right? Okay, we'll find that out and, and soon come, right? But if he signs back and you don't hear Bob saying Shakur's name and you hearing nothing about Shakur because Shakur could say he could blow it out all day in the ring about what Devin said and how he left and he just said, I'm number one and I'm going. Bro, all that is it's dramatic. It, it's just drama. I'm looking past that. I hear Bill saying, Bob ain't say Shakur name. So if this man, Bill Haney, I mean, damn. I, see, that's like Shakur said, man, in one of the tweets. He said, yo, I see Bill Haney and fathers and promoters and this, that. They talking for the fighter and the fighter ain't talking for himself. I feel you, man. I, I really feel you, Shakur, on that. But if I don't hear um, Bob Aram saying your name and he resigns, Devin Haney resigns, not Bill, but Devin, well, Bill too, Devin Haney resigns back to top rank and we don't hear a people about Shakur Stevenson at 135 and we hear about Timo Fimo at 140. Well, that's why I said I never hear to change your mind. All you got to do is read between the lines. How you going to sign back with this man and this man don't have the benefit for you to get the, the undisputed fight? Tell me. Nothing is not benefiting Shakur. Just the way I see it. Nothing was benefited for you for Shakur at 130 to be undisputed because Bob Aaron said, fuck those jabronis. Don't want to know them, Right? And now you're going to tell me we're going to do this again? We're going to do this again? They're going to sign and you ain't got no benefit to this signing? Then you should have been fighting Lomachenko before Devin Haney in the first place. But it benefited Lomachenko because we wanted to give him a second chance to be undisputed. Y'all niggas need to read between the lines. Shakur, bro, I'm with you. I feel like you could beat Tank and Devin. But bro, when I feel that feel like shit ain't right, I'm just gonna let you know if shit ain't right. And I feel like you one of the part of it that's not shit not right. I wanna say you ain't the one that shit ain't right either. Cause we could avoid all this shit, man. We okay, fuck with the coulda, woulda, shoulda. Alright? Cause right now you're still in the sanctioned body and you're there. Watch what's going on with I'm not even thinking about you no more, Shakur, about what you should have, could have, would have done. I'm watching. The actions of Bob Arum, I'm watching the actions of Bill Haney and, 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 and Devin Haney. And like I said, if he resigns back to top um, top rank and he ain't got and we ain't hearing nothing from Shakur from Bob Arum, right? Because Bill Haney say it's Bob that's got to say Shakur name, not Shakur saying I'm next. <laughs> so at the end of this. I'm just going to say I'm not here to change your mind. I'm here for you to read between the lines. It's not what they say. It's what they're not saying. And um, like I said, man, um, Shakur, I wanted this fight for 135. I wanted this fight at 140. I wanted I want trilogies at 135, 140, 147, depending who dominates. And, you know, because, you know, Devin, he wants to see if he got the power in the blood. Yeah, he wants to see if he got the power in the blood. So he's going to try to move up and see if he got that power in the blood. And uh, Team of Fimo, I don't know. I, I, I ain't got nothing to say. But if no one can respect your power at 140, then it is what it is. You just get your back, bring your ass back down to 135 where your titles are right there. And you're going to have to defend it. There's no running and no hiding. Okay? It's either you go up to 140 and fight Team of Fimo. Um, Gary Antoine Wassel is there. Um, A.K.A. Sean Porter 2.0. Um, you know, football, um, he, he, he's a juggernaut pushing his way through and everything, but that's a hard, aggressive pressure fighter. Um, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gary Russell, right? Gary Antoine Russell. And y'all got beef up there too. All right. So we should see what you're going to do. But to me, Shakur and Tank ain't the only option. You got Timo and you got fucking Maxi Hughes, which no one's listening. What? It's not what Capsule Full G is saying. It's what this man, Devin Haiti, said on the Nest channel. So that's all I got for y'all. Y'all have a good one. Um, the fight between Devin and Loma, like I said, I keep going back and forth. It was a great fight. It was a beautiful fight. Um, I, I just like the, 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 the science of it, um, the sweet science of it. 
the skills. Um, but I, like I said, you listen, it is what it is. Let's move on. And I'm going to just sit back and see what Bob, Bill, and Devin is going to do. Or if Devin and Bill decides to go back with Eddie Hearn um, for the IBO title. It is what it is. Y'all have a great one. Great.